Britain's approach to mental health is in danger of having gone too far, with normal anxieties of life being labelled as an illness. That's the warning from the Work and Pension Secretary as he unveiled plans to make the 150,000 people signed off work with mild conditions look for a job. Mel Stride suggested an increased public focus on t uh, talking about mental health has led to people effectively diagnosing themselves with conditions. But an employment expert told Talk TV she didn't agree with the minister's assessment. I'm sure there are very few, if any, people who stay off work, particularly long term, who have nothing wrong with them. And I'd like to know where his empirical evidence comes from. But there's no denying the intervention comes amid growing alarm over the ballooning welfare bill, which is set to hit £100 billion this year. The rising cost is being fueled by a sharp increase in the number of young adults who are on long-term sickness payments for mental health conditions. The number of Britons classified as economically inactive, meaning they're neither looking for work nor looking for a job, which is the same thing, has soared by 700,000 since the pandemic. I think there's something quite telling about the demographic break breakdown of these people, because most of them, the vast majority of them, are not uh, people that are nearing retirement age, who are probably exhausted or whatever. They're mainly under 35s who have limited qualifications. So they're not the under 35s that came out of school with three A stars and you know have a degree or anything like that. They're mainly um, students who haven't, or young people that haven't particularly uh, had high levels of scholastic attainment, and they're mainly under 35. And this sort of ballooning of these people that uh, during the pandemic saying, I'm too anxious. I mean, I kid you not, some of the excuses are they're too anxious to go to job interviews, uh, to look for work. I think it just shows the flaws within our welfare state, which is, it's no longer about, you know, a helping hand. It's about actually subsidizing the lifestyle of people that that we've given a choice to stop working. And I think it's completely ludicrous. It's, yeah. We have medicalized daily life to the point that now someone can say, I'm depressed. And the, there's actually no sort of set uh, diagnosis for, uh, a set way to diagnose depression, right? I mean, the guidelines like two weeks of feeling low or whatever, but there's no actual, it's not like, I don't know, having a common cold. There's no actual way to, to diagnose there's someone there's with depression. There's not a blood test. I mean, there exactly. are, there there's, is but a there's, no, there's, no, there's no set, like, the, there, there have been tests where you have two doctors effectively well, saying one person has depression there. and one person doesn't. Test. We now well, recognise people be subsidized. have. You know, but suicide the is one of the biggest killers of young men in this, this country, and we need to address to like. mental health but issues. There aren't enough mental health are. services. And before the we government, you know, before the pension secretary opines about people getting off their backsides and looking for what? work. But why should we have to, why, Maybe why the government should, should invest in proper mental health I'm services sorry, th enough. to help no treat people. No, 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 that's no not that. more Ed, shrinks. Ed, what, no more shrinks. Ed, what is going, what is going on, on with you guys? No. What no. The, I didn't totally include me in that. I'm, I'm including you in this Yeah, you would do, wouldn't you? Just trying to demonise me. But seriously, 20,000 people, apart from the fact 150,000 people are signed off on long-term sickness, as Esther said, many of them under the age of 35. Uh, every single day, 20,000 people phone in sick for mental health reasons. Now, you know, I wouldn't want to undermine in any way the importance of taking mental health issues seriously, particularly among young men in their 20s who are committing suicide at an alarming rate. Yes. We have to take mental health seriously, but the fact of the matter is everybody knows that out of those 20,000 people who phone in every day uh, and say, I've got mental health problems, uh, a, a significant number of them, in my view, are skiving, of work course. shy and lazy. And uh, or just having a day off. Finally, yeah, just having a day. Yeah, work shy and a lazy. Duvet day. And fi fi finally, uh, you know, they 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 misdiagnose uh, what mental health is. They they they're grieving because the mum died, or they split up from their girlfriend or their boyfriend, and they say that's but, mental but health. Kevin, that is... isn't a mental health issue. Kevin, that's life. Kevin, that's Kevin right. this is the problem. We pathologized all these yes. normal yes, everyday agree, experiences. Yeah. Okay, it's not about being unsympathetic. We're actually doing young people a massive disservice if we allow them at the age of 18, because 18 to 24 is a real kind of touch point where people are just not working. If we allow them to sign themselves off effectively for life, to doctors just putting people on antidepressants and signing them off, that is actually you know, I, 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 worse. Can, we can, we can and what Mel Stride off. said, what Mel Stride said, is that work is good for our mental health, and that's a really important point. That's a fair point. I have a lot of personal family experience with mental health problems, addiction, depression, yeah. all of that. And I can tell you that one of the least kind things to do is to allow people in that condition to have an indefinite period yeah. Yeah. of doing nothing. Yeah. What massively helps is some kind of structure 
to the day and getting out and having company and whether it's volunteering or any other kind of human interaction and earning some money for your own self-esteem that's what you need not to be condemned to the scrap and have us Very pay for it can yeah. we just highlight that i yes. don't i don't care how you're written off i just don't want to have to pay for it because that's nonsense okay that's a slightly separate point so anyway <laughs> sticking with mental health <laughs> 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 That's called the last word. I'm sorry. <laughs>